from FY12 and FY11. Um, our numbers at this point for the first quarter, we're looking at total from primes and subs of a little over $13 million. Uh, we have about five major projects going on right now, and we thought it would be advantageous to tell council about those five projects as the Justice Center and the four schools, Huguenot, uh, Broad Rock, Oak Grove, and MLK. So as you can see from this slide, the money that has been expended on those particular contracts <coughs> and $8.3 million of the $13 million that we are reporting as MBE spend for the first quarter um, is spent on those special projects. As for the Section 3 first quarter report, uh, this report is relative to housing uh, contracts that have been let through ECD. <clears throat> During the first quarter, they let 51 contracts, and approximately 33 of those were with Section 3 businesses, which was about close to 65% of all the contracts they let, uh, totaling about $332,000. Uh, the next section is from the Department of Procurement. It's quite a few pages, but to just tell you what it lists, it's actually the solicitation itself. The next, the contract name is actually the subject matter that that contract was left for. The vendor that received that contract, their goal, the goal that was put on it by MBD, as well as the dollar amount associated with that, and then the commitment, and oftentimes you'll see that the commitment will change from the goal. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. That's why we have that column. And then we show what that commitment amount would be in dollars. And lastly, we list the um, total award for that contract, or the budget amount for the particular contract. And that goes on for quite a few pages. Uh, we added some additional information in this report. Uh, if there were any particular questions about the five large projects that we've got going on. Um, Chairman Robinson, would you like for me to go through those? The first one is the Justice Center project. The prime on that is Tompkins Ballard in association with T.K. Davis. Uh, what we've done here is listed uh, the contract amount, the amount that has been expended for MBE ESBs, but also wanted, to, wanted you to know, and we did not put it up there, that of that $116 million, $89 million has been expended uh, toward this project, and their goal is 50.25. Um, that right now, the current value of signed contracts with MBE ESBs is a little over $42 million. There's about $10 million that's still in negotiations. And that equates right now to about 37% of that 50.25% being met. That does not include that $10 million that is currently under negotiation. And the $4 million that you see there remaining contracts to be awarded, that's what needs to be awarded in order for them to hit the 50.25%. There is approximately 20, $27 million left to be awarded overall. But in order for them to meet the 50.25, they need to award another $4.1 million. At the bottom of that, you will see the ethnic breakdown of the firms that have been awarded contracts. Uh, the next one is Broad Rock Elementary. The prime on that is Martin Brothers Contractors Incorporated. The same type information with that. The goal on that was 40%. They committed to 44.19 at present. Um, they're at about 30.61. And the ethnic breakdown is also there. Oak Grove was also awarded to Martin Brothers Contractors. Um, the contract amount for that was $19,785,000. Uh, 
Uh, they've expended about 14 million. They had a goal of 44.28 percent. Right now, they are expending about 25.6 percent of those dollars to MBE ESBs. Again, with the ethnic breakdown. Uh, MLK is the first project that we have that is a construction manager at risk. The previous two schools were a hard bid in the traditional bid, design, bid, 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 build, design, our old low bid wins. MLK, we're proud to say, is our first CM at risk project. It was awarded to Howard Shockey and Sons. Uh, not a lot of work has been done so far out there. Uh, they have a 40% goal. They've expended a little over a million dollars on that project, and so far um, their ethnic breakdown is shown below. Huguenot is been award, well, it hasn't been awarded. The GMP is actually being developed by Hess Construction and Engineering Services. Um, they, <coughs> excuse me, they are presently trying to put their GMP together, the gross maximum price for that project. That is continuous. Any questions? I didn't necessarily do my math right, but it looks like Indian ESP companies in the country got about 13 of these in roughly in the state five, in the region 12, and in the city seven. I know that currently under state law, we're not allowed to focus on a local option or to award points for the business being local. Is that right? Yes, sir. The uh, General Assembly did not pass the local preference in the last session. Mr. Samuels, just to note that we do 